Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for May 2017 and it's a general and love reading. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I think I'm just going to start right here. What I was going to say though is remember if this does not resonate uh, to watch your moon and or rising sign. Okay, so we're just going to start going. Oh wow. This has come up for about three other signs, I think. The Nine of Swords. Oh, the Ten of the Ten of Wands, I'm sorry. Wow, the Five of Swords. The Queen of Cups. And the Chariot. Okay, Scorpio. So I wanted to point out. Uh, the Major Arcana, the Chariot, uh, and of course our core card, the Queen of Cups. Now this can represent you, male or female. The other water signs are also Pisces and of course Cancer. So I feel like Cancer is going to have some meaning. Also Sagittarius. We do have quite a bit of air signs here. I feel that there are battles going on, and I feel that some of these are legal battles. So I want to start off with what I'm picking up, like health-wise. I feel that some of you are struggling, like there's a big problem, there's a barrier or something in the way in terms of um, trying to get something cleared. So this may be having to get like a referral or something approved by the health insurance company. I feel like there's a lot of red tape. And one of the things that I'm picking up is I feel that there may be surgery done on somebody's back, most likely their lower back. The other thing that I'm picking up is I feel like when I'm looking at some of these cards here, I feel like there's internal battles going on. And so... I'm getting that somebody may be uh, suffering from anxiety attacks or panic attacks or anxiety disorder. It's also coming across to me as either post-traumatic stress disorder or OCD, which is obsessive compulsive disorder. And I feel like somebody is trying to get help, but there's just so much to go through that it's it's been difficult, but I'm being led to say, hang in there because I feel that help is going to be arriving. There's there's definitely with the chariot uh, here, the chariot card. I'm sorry. The other legalities that I'm picking up is there may be also. I feel like somebody's trying to get a green card. Well, they call it an alien card and or passport or there's something about trying to get paperwork done so that you can travel. So if you are getting ready to plan a trip, make sure that nothing is expired, you know, your driver's license is not expired, that it's up to date uh, because I'm getting something about a driver's license. You know, sometimes we forget to check those things. So that's also important. The other legality that I'm getting is that there may be something also work-related where somebody is out of work due to stress. And there might be something... I feel like somebody is... Yeah, there's, there's arguments going back and forth. Maybe somebody was let go from work. And it you know, due to a health situation and you're trying to get your job back. The other thing that I want to say is this also has to do with divorce. I feel that somebody is going through it or they've already gone through the divorce, but it's like their ex keeps bringing up 
things, you know, just one thing after another, after another, it might be battle being battled through the court system. It might be that it's the divorce is over and they're just, you know, trying to get your goat or they have an ax to grind with you is what I'm hearing. And I've never used that phrase before. So that has some meaning for somebody, but it's just like they're trying to get back. Uh, there may, I feel like there's jealousy involved and, you know, they're one of those people that will just try and win at any cost, you know, it doesn't matter to them. Now, I do feel though, that you are going to get through whatever these battles are. Some of you, I do get that you are being pulled in two different directions. And it could be that, you know, your, your mind is saying one thing, and this could also be internal conflict, but you know, your heart's saying something else. And so there may be a decision to make regarding somebody in a romance way or, like I said, it could also be with a, the divorce, but this may also be, um, you know, if you're just started dating somebody or if you're in a relationship and there's arguments or things going on, you're not seeing eye to eye. Uh, there may be a situation too where there's, a decision of whether or not you, I'm hearing, should you stay or should you go? Okay, that's a song. Should I stay or should I go now? <laughs> I'm hearing the song. So, but I think that's like the debate back and forth, back and forth. I feel that you will most likely make a decision about this situation. If the situation is out of your hands and you're waiting to get or hear a decision from somebody else, I feel like it's going to be coming in. I think it's also important that you really pay attention to your intuition and really dig deep. And find what is important to you, especially when it comes to love. What are you looking for in a partner? If you find, and I've said this for one or two other signs, where you keep meeting the same person over and over and over again, I feel that there's a need to, store, to start looking at yourself from a different perspective or giving yourself, uh, you know, sometimes we can be our own worst enemies and say negative things to ourselves. And so I feel like rewrite that script if you're talking to yourself. Most of the time, I know that when I do it, I don't even know that I'm doing it half the time. You know, I don't recognize it. So I feel like by rewriting or paying attention or being alerted to when you are doing it is a step in the right direction. Some of this may even go back to your home, to your childhood. You know, what we learned, what love is and uh, righting those wrongs. Oh, Nicholas just appeared here. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I, I do feel that some of you are definitely at a crossroads. I, I'm also feeling that some of you are going to be taking a trip in May. Uh, now, this may definitely have to do, uh, well, you know, that makes sense. In, in the United States, it's Memorial Day. So um, just make sure that, you know, you've got gasoline in the car, the oil um, has been changed, your tires are full. Um, cause you definitely don't want to go through a headache with a flat tire or something like that. Or, uh, I'm also getting something about car insurance. Make sure that you've got your car insurance, like the card with you, uh, when you're driving, that's going to be important. I feel for somebody, but 
Uh, you're at a, a turning point where something is ending. And this may, this ending may have also, I'm hearing, be a loss. So there may be some bereavement that you're going through, like the grief process. And, um, and I feel like it's kind of like two steps forward, one step back. Uh, but this loss can definitely be a breakup, you know, romantically, if you're partnered with somebody. For some of you, it could also be that you're deciding whether or not you, the break, you, you're going to have the breakup. So it's going to be different for, you know, each person for whom this message even applies to. I feel like support is coming in. You're going to get support in some aspect, I feel like, by the end of May. And some of it may even be that there could be, I'm, this trip may also very much be near the water. Like I'm getting the seaside or arbor. I don't know if this is like in the U.S., Ann Arbor, Michigan, or Arbor, the word Arbor. But I, I do feel like um, some of you are going to be very close to the water, very much looking forward to that. So as I say, it's, it's, it's darkest before the dawn. Here we've got this darkness, and look at this beautiful gold and this light that's coming in. So... Just be careful of taking on too much. And some of you may be taking on a lot. I, I feel like maybe for some of you, you may be feeling a bit underappreciated. And somebody may be taking advantage in some way. But I don't feel like you're going to be allowing that for long. Because I can also see you coming back to fight this battle. And so if somebody feels like they have won a battle against you, I feel like you're coming back tenfold, not to get, you know, not in a mean way, but you're going to become victorious in what you're doing. Um there's going to be some success or some positive action that I feel will be taking place regarding this situation for you. So I'm being led to say don't give up the fight. Uh, get that determination in you and oh, it's already in you. Just let it out and keep moving forward because that's what I'm seeing the chariot as. And so what's been out of balance or maybe upside down, I feel like by the end of the month. Now, for some of you, it may go on, though, I hear through July. So the, it might be a further out. But I feel that something is going to come out that is positive out of this situation. Or you're going to create something positive out of the situation. And I think also what's going to help possibly heal is uh, meditation, even uh, possibly yoga, whatever it is that you do to kind of go within. I'm also hearing something about writing or automatic writing to kind of release and let all this out. So, but these are just some messages that I'm picking up. There's, there's still more here, but uh, obviously, if you would like a personal reading with me, I would love to do one for you. I do offer the questions where you can ask anywhere from one to five questions. Uh, two questions is just 
uh, it's like $35, which I think is somewhat reasonable. Um, and, um, but I do also offer Skype and, and phone readings too. So anyway, um, I hope that you have a beautiful month. Stay strong. I wanted to give you a shot of Nicholas here because he's right here next to us. He appeared for you in the reading. What are you seeing, Nicholas? Something flying? <laughs> I tapped him on the on his back paw and I think I scared him. Sorry. Anyway, he's here, so just wanted to give you a shot of him. Thank you so much and take care. All right. Bye.